Hello, my fellow members of the community. I, Austin Sears 64, Lord Commander Militant of the Imperial Guard, and one of the three High Lords of the Clan, will be restarting the weekly updates that I didn't get to continue or record weekly back in May. These updates will consist of the things that happened within the Imperium, specifically and on the outside. Hello, my of fellow the members of the community. I, Austin Sears 64, Lord Commander Militant of the Imperial Guard, and one of the three High Lords of the Clan, will be restarting the weekly updates that I didn't get to continue or record weekly back in May. These updates will consist of the things that happened within the Imperium, specifically and on the outside of the Imperium. Now, let's begin. The Imperium has gone through a lot of changes throughout the months. The Blood Angels were converted into the Alpha Legion, and Zura stepped down from leading any chapter or leadership in the Imperium. He left the Imperium and created a Sanghili bloodline, which is known as the Zykuru's bloodline. Loyal members of the Blood Angels were split apart, joining the Alpha Legion and the Ultramarines. During this time, two chapters were restarted. The Primarch Letho Zykuru's, aka NH Line. He returned to the Imperium after seven months of inactivity from being routed. After this, the Imperial Guard were restarted under Austin 064 leadership, who was the 4th Company leader in the Blood Angels. He was granted the Imperial Guard Regiment after the current High Lords granted it. Soon after, the Alpha Legion ended with most of its members forced into the Dark Angels, while the Ultramarine Sector, the people who didn't want to join the DA. During the next few months, the Imperium had around 40 to 50 members as a total of all chapters surviving with only small training sessions. Austin 064 took power within the Guard, becoming the Lord Commander Militant and the High Lord of the Imperial Guard. To assist the Guard, the Ultramarines and Dark Angels sent their failed aspirants to the Imperial Guard. With this, the Guardsmen were able to gain speed during October with the Imperial Guard within three days recruited 30 recruits and amounted to 60 members. The Imperial Guard then had another boost, shortly hitting 70 members. When it hit 70 members, the Imperial Guard opened up the Death Corps of Krieg and opened up the Elysium Drop Troops. These regiments were the f at first successful, however, the Elysium had a change of leadership to Golden Spartan 86, and Phase Grey Wolf of the Death Corps closed his regiment and merged it into the Elysium. Seth, aka Braddy Olive, also during this time became a lieutenant, then captain of the Cadian Shock Troops. Today, the Imperial Guard has around 80 members. Recently, a new law system called the Lex Imperialist was put in place due to chapters not having the same type of rule set because there was no central law system. Each chapter did things differently and punished differently. The High Lords unanimously agreed to create a new law system which now governs the actions of each chapter. The Imperium, however, at the end of the day has shown significant improvement since the last time a news update was published. With around 60 to 70 more members, the Imperium is guaranteed to prosper and overcome challenges that will face it in the coming months and years. As long as the Imperium sticks together as a whole and everyone works towards the spe specific task of making this clan a great clan again, we will, no doubt, succeed. Thank you for tuning in to this news update. If you want to know more about things about the Imperium, or want to learn about the Lords of the Imperium, go to the imperiumclan.weebly.com. Thanks for watching. The Imperium has gone through a lot of changes throughout the months. The Blood Angels were converted into the Alpha Legion, and Zuru stepped down from leading any chapter or in the leadership of the Imperium. He left the Imperium and created a Sanghili bloodline, which is known as the Zykubrus bloodline. Loyal members of the Blood Angels split apart, joining the Alpha Legion and the Ultramarines. During this time, the two chapters, known as the Imperial Guard and the Dark Angels, were restarted under Letho Zykurus and Austin 064. Gosh damn it!